Hey guys, this is the second video of the interview preparation series on HackerRank using Python. If this is the first time you're watching this, I'm going to make videos on all the questions in this set and other important questions as well. If you're preparing for interviews right now or if you're a beginner who just wants to learn to code, follow this series. Please subscribe to my channel for this and also I have made a playlist for this on which I will be regularly uploading. So you can add that into your favorites. Okay, with that, let's get started. This problem is called counting valleys. So an avid hiker keeps meticulous records of his hikes during the last hike that took exactly step steps for every step it was noted if it was an uphill U or a downhill D. Hikes always start and end at the sea level and each step up or down represents one unit change in altitude. We define the following terms. So a mountain is when the person goes up and comes down at the same level at sea level. And a valley is when a person leaves down with a D and then comes up with a U at the sea level. So this is an example here where there are eight steps of the path. And so basically he goes down two steps, comes up one step, comes up two steps. That's one valley. And then he goes up two steps and comes down two steps, which is a mountain. So the answer to this would be one valley. Okay. So this is a function description question where they've given us the number of steps and a string which contains the path. Okay. Okay. So at this point, I would suggest that you try this question by yourself. The link is in the description below. You can try it out. And after that, you can continue forward. Okay. So uh, we can start coding now. So first thing, I think I would uh, declare a variable called valley which is our final answer and initialize it to zero. Okay. Then uh, we need to check the path, right? So I can make a for loop for I in range steps, which will iterate through all like the size of the path. And now we can go through the path and check if uh, the alphabet is a U or a D, right? So before this, I think we should initialize a variable altitude, which keeps a check on the level where the hiker is currently okay so if path i is equal to u so we're checking if it's he's going up then we can make all equal to one plus equal to one so here the person goes one level above similarly if path is d then altitude will decrease by one step right now what we have to check is okay uh, so look at this example here here they've shown that when the person goes below from the sea level and comes back to the sea level it is one valley right so here this person has made two small valleys as well but we're not counting that because uh, so basically if there are multiple valleys above on a mountain or below in a, another valley but they don't come to the sea level then that is not counted okay so we only need to consider the sea level value right so now we can make a loop where we're checking the altitude if it's like sea level or not so if alt equal to zero and uh, obviously when we start it would be zero right so when i is not at the first step uh okay so here i realize one thing that we need to initialize a current and a previous altitude instead of just altitude so i'll just initialize this here and this is previous okay so actually we can't have zero here right because every time then the person would start at zero so this should be current right and all of these should be current then right because his current value is changing and every time the loop comes here the previous becomes the current and the current changes again correct so that way it always stays updated and now we can do this so if current is zero and the step is not the first step then after that if previous value was minus one because the person can either come from plus one or minus one right so we need to only check when it's he's coming from a value so if previous was minus one so then we increment one to valley okay i think this is it right so now we just simply return valley 
and now let's run the code to check if it works yep it works great yep it works so that was about it thank you for watching hope you liked this i'm going to cover all questions from this series and much more if you have any question which you want me to solve or if there is a particular concept which you want me to explain in a separate video where i teach that concept you can let me know in the comment section below and i will definitely make a video on that if you like this video please hit like and please subscribe to my channel so that it keeps me motivated and i can make more videos i've just started out and i hope to make a lot more thank you see you in the next one